Hey y'all, Keeney coming to you with another pro tip of the day. So we've got this 2010 Journey in the garage this afternoon. And if you've ever had to replace front struts, you will know that typically one of the lower mountain holes is elongated so that you can properly set your camber angle when you're done. This is how I get the new strut to almost perfectly line up with the camber angle of the old strut as I install it. So I use this digital inclinometer. You can use probably any brand. I just like this small square one. You might be able to use your phone with a level. I just like this one because it's magnetic and I can stick it right on the hub. So I'll show you and flip this camera around what my steps are to get this thing really really close so that way when i do take this to the alignment shop when i'm done with the service i don't risk chewing up these tires real bad driving to the shop itself so before i ever pull anything apart i will take my digital inclinometer and I'll take a measurement of the hub angle for camber before the old strut comes off. Then, after the new strut is installed, I'll stick this inclinometer back on, take just a small pipe wrench on the bottom of the hub, and then I can just, usually I'll hold this, I'll set it and hold it with my knee while I work the bolts in the back with uh, with wrench and impact gun and whatnot. But basically, you just push on the strut and pull up on your wrench, and you'll be able to adjust and set this back to what it was before you took everything apart. So like the measurement I had on this one was 88.5. So I can get an 88.5, or really, really close to, and then I can impact everything together and let it set and then drive it to the alignment shop when everything's back. So, if you ever have to replace struts and you wanna get that camber angle back really, really close to where it was before everything was taken apart, this is how you can get that done. That's all I got for you in this one. I will catch y'all in the next video.